Are you worried about the long-term effects of nuclear waste on the environment? Or what if we told you that the issue with the atomic waste was resolved years ago? Long-running controversy surrounds nuclear energy. While many praise nuclear energy for being safe and efficient, others are concerned about the security of nuclear power plants and the long-term effects of radioactive waste on the environment. Contrary to what you may have heard, there is already a solution to the nuclear waste issue and we are here to talk about it. Around 10% of the world's electricity is produced by nuclear power, one of the most effective and low carbon energy sources. Due to safety concerns though, many individuals are skeptical about it. The nuclear power facility at Hua Long One enters the picture here. Leading the way toward nuclear power that is safer and more sustainable is this facility, which is situated in China's Fujian province. Nuclear waste is a byproduct of nuclear energy production that, if incorrectly disposed of, might be deadly. However, in comparison to the total quantity of garbage generated in the U.S., nuclear waste production is a negligible part. Only 2% of the waste generated yearly in the U.S. is nuclear, according to the Department of Energy. The problem of disposing of nuclear waste has also been handled through a variety of techniques. First and foremost, nuclear waste is securely kept in equipment built of starting materials, such as steel and concrete, to withstand natural disasters and other possible risks. After that, these containers are kept in safe facilities far away from busy roads. Any trash that emits alpha, beta, or gamma radiation is considered radioactive or nuclear waste. It arises through the reprocessing of atomic weapons, nuclear power generation, the mining of rare earth, and nuclear engineers' use of used nuclear fuel rods and gloves, among other sources. A third of the over 500,000 tons of nuclear waste produced to date have been recycled. Nuclear waste is often kept where it is made on site, in water pools, or so-called dry casks above the earth, rather than being sent to a landfill or other sizable single location. For instance, every year in the U.S. alone, coal plants emit more ash into the atmosphere than was ever made by nuclear power in all of its forms combined. Every year, this occurs. A typical coal plant in the U.S. releases more ash into the environment and air in a single hour than a nuclear reactor in its entire lifespan. It burns inefficient fuels like coal and gasoline, resulting in one fatality for every five people. The inappropriate handling of fossil fuel waste has had significant adverse health and environmental repercussions. There are three forms of nuclear waste, low-level waste, intermediate-level waste, and high-level waste. All three are thought to be less hazardous than other types of junk. The most difficult of the three is high-level waste. Although it only makes a small portion of total nuclear waste generated, a football field's worth of high-level waste produced during nuclear history might be buried. Most high-level garbage is kept in dry casks, enormous concrete cylinders above ground. These containers hold a nuclear material that has been melted down and mixed with glass and ceramic to remain calm and below critical. Only a tiny portion of nuclear waste has to be kept indefinitely since the vast majority decays on site to the point of being safe within the life of a power station. The most significant source of mercury contamination on Earth is from coal plants and neurotoxic metals will always be hazardous. The speaker contends that when stored and handled correctly, nuclear waste is far simpler than waste produced by or resulting from the usage of fossil fuels. Transport containers for nuclear waste are portrayed as impervious to damage. One of these barrels has never cracked open in an accident and the contents have remained dry. The best method for long-term storage of high-level nuclear waste is deep geological disposal, which entails excavating a large hole that extends very far underground. This deep disposal option would be effective as it is under anything that is a water table, a geologically active area, or a biosphere. Despite being a valid concern, the myth that there is no method to deal with nuclear waste is simply wrong. By combining safe storage, ongoing research and development, and the use of cutting-edge reactor designs, we have already made significant progress in finding a solution to the nuclear waste problem. So let's keep our attention on the facts and go forward with efforts to create a future with clean and adequate energy. Don't let misconceptions and rumors distort your judgment regarding nuclear waste.